Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back. Heather Mattern here. Um, I am super thrilled about this video. I actually wasn't sure what I wanted to do a video on, um, but I knew I wanted to do one. I'm trying to do videos every week, but you guys know that I only, I kind of fly by the seat of my pants and only do videos when I'm inspired to do them. So I was sitting down and I was getting ready to journal to try to figure out, well, what video is calling to me this week? And I just was like, you know what? You should do video on all the journals you keep. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So I'm actually going to pile them up so you can see the journals that I currently keep. And then I will sh tell you how I use them. Okay, are you guys ready? I'm gonna try to do this without dropping them. These are the journals that I am in nearly every day. Some of them more like once a week, but nearly every day I try to get into all of these journals. And I am going to go through and show you how I use each of these. If you're interested in a more in-depth flip through of any of them, let me know. I would gladly do that. But for time's sake, I'm not gonna do like a detailed flip through. I'm going to start with this one because these two are definitely, these two I'm in every morning. And so I figured that that would probably be a good place to start. So this is my journal. This is my morning mindset pages where I come every morning. I grab my coffee, grab my notebook, and that's how I start my day um, with just rambling. I mean, you can see, like, I literally just ramble. Um, and I do stick little things in here. So I'll stick cards. Um, there is an index page, so I will go back through and index it. But when I get cards in the mail, I like, like here's a little card from a friend. Um, this was from the Traveler's Notebook I purchased. I like to have those in here. I used to separate them and have them in what I was calling my yearbook. But I find that having them in here on the day that I get them, I can see when it came in relation to um, how I was feeling or what was going on during that time in my life. And so I really, I, I prefer it to be in here. So that's why as I flip through, you'll see different things. This was, I got a new motorcycle helmet. You guys know my husband's a biker. Um, and I had a little, my cousin had a baby, so I put that in here. So I just like knowing time frame. Here's another card. So that's why there's little memorabilia in here. But it's, it's truly just for my morning rambles. A lot of times it's not poetic, it's literally just brain dumping. But I have to do that. If I don't brain dump every morning, I walk around in like a fog, like I feel like something is wrong with me. So this is a definite need. All right, the next thing I'm gonna show you guys, you saw me unbox a few weeks back. Yeah, about a few weeks back. This is my Pepper and Finch, and I love it so much, Traveler's Notebook in the composition book size. Sorry, I just bumped the camera. Um, love it. This, it was in the natural, I did, um, put it out in the sun for a bit and gave it a little, a little suntan. I'm loving how it's patina-ing. I actually don't know that I was supposed to do this, but, um, I actually gave it a little, I anointed it with oil. So it actually smells like abundance, our Young Living Abundance Oil. Um, I gave it a little anointing. So it has like that leather and abundance smell and I love it so much. So it is full. It's pretty full in here. I don't have composition notebooks in here right now. Right now I have the Moleskin Cahier larger books and um, and then I have my planner. So this right here, I don't I feel like that's glaring to the camera. This right here, this big chunky thing in the middle, that's my law of attraction planner. It's my favorite planner of all time. I'm totally addicted. It's the only one I've been able to actually stay with. So maybe I should do a talk on that eventually. Um, I love it. It came with two straps. I'm only using the one. 
I keep a highlighter here. Um, so I'll just flip through and show you. So this first insert, I'm not going to show you on the inside. Once again, if you are interested in a full flip through, this is my plan book is what I call it. So it's my morning plan book. Um, start here. I start here with my journaling, then I grab my morning plan book. And this first section, this first insert is for my bliss building. So it's for my business. Um, so I do some work in there. The second one is my writing. Kind of like, I guess you consider, you could consider them almost like bullet journals. So I have like a section for October with my business ideas. I keep track of my overall group volume and the people that I need to, to um, message, like all that's in my business one. The second one would be like a writing, um, if I was doing a bullet journal just for writing. So I have an index, I'll show you, all the writerly things. So there's an index and then I have um, just random writing thoughts. I'm doing a write-a-thon, I've got project ideas, I've got NaNoWriMo coming up that I'm doing with my teenagers for homeschooling. So I've got all of the writing ideas and stuff in that second one. Then you come to the planner. So like this is this week. And as I get things done, um, I cross it off and I keep this little tab as a bookmark. Um, let me see, let me show you kind of. So like this is what it, the planner looks like. So I make my list for the day and then highlight it as I get things done. So I go into my planner next. And then in the back, this is my YouTube um, insert. So it's got all my YouTube ideas and brainstorming and all of that. So this is my um, morning plan book every morning. Then I have my art journal, which you guys have seen. Um, I think you've only seen it once, actually, when I started it, when I talked about my word for the year. Look how chunky and beautiful she's getting. I work in here at least once a week. Um, I, I try to spend more time, but I do it kind of in spurts. So I do the, let's see if I have something to show you. Um, I'll go through and do the gluing. Like, okay, for instance, here's the page. So I have covered up the page with collage elements, but then I'll go back and do some writing later. Um, so let's see if I can show you, you know, just like, it's, my art journal is really, I consider it more of a manual, like if you were to have a manual written on yourself. So this is, um, and my word of the year this year was trust and migrate. So this is like a manual for my migration journey is what I put there. Um, it's like a field guide to my brain. It's where I get ideas and flesh my ideas out. Um, I don't know. I, art is so important. I'm not, this is like my morning journaling is a must. I feel like when the words don't come, art just brings something else out. Whether that's collage. I don't use a lot of paint. This, well, I do use like watercolor. Um, Lots of collage elements, lots of notes that I take. Okay, see, and I'll do, like I said, if, if you're interested in a full flip through of my art journal or of any of these, I would gladly plan that for you. So, art journal is number three. Okay, number four, this is my Sacred Fragments Volume One. Um, this is where I keep my poetry. I keep poetry and collage together. So that's all that it is is a collage on one side and a just small little fragment of poetry on the other. Um, so you can kind of get a glimpse because poetry is like my love language. <laughs> and so it's just, it's simple. Not a whole, I mean, messy, just words that need to come out so they don't so I'm in this, I try, I don't get in here as often as I would like. I would like to spend more time. I actually need to make a volume two because I only have a handful of pages left. So that should be coming. And 
I haven't decided if I will give you guys like an in-depth view of this yet, but because um, my poetry tends to be a little more, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I have to deal with some of my feelings about some of my poems before I like read them to you, but which is funny because I'm a writer and I have two poetry books out that you can buy, but still, I don't know. It, it feels raw and personal. Anyway, so this would be the fourth journal that I'm in. And then lastly, I have a Chic Sparrow. Um, this is the Outlander in wide. It says Wild Sexy Life on the bottom. Um, Traveler's Notebook. I do try to spend some time in here. Once again, not as often as I would like. These two are probably the ones that I spend the least amount of time in, but I think I might need to get back to spending more time. Um, but at least once a week. So in this one, I have three inserts, right? Yes, three inserts. These inserts came from Barnes & Noble's, I believe. They are from Piccadilly. I know that the, well, the middle, this one actually is a moleskin. And then this one in the back is also a Piccadilly. So what this is, this is my manifestation journal is what I, what I call it. And what I use it for is this first section is gratitude. I love my life. And so in this first section, I will just, sometimes I'll just write a list of things I'm grateful for. Sometimes I will write like a whole paragraph. Um, but that's for my gratitude. The second notebook is my, honestly, this whole book, if I'm feeling low emotionally or I'm just having a rough day and need to be reminded of all the things that I have in my life or I just need, I need to move up in the emotional scale. So like, let's say my emotions are here and I need to elevate my emotions. I need to change my mindset. This is where I come because this first section, you got gratitude and gratitude will get anyone out of a funk. Let me just tell you, if you sit down and start writing things you're grateful for, you can't stay sad or angry. Like gratitude is amazing. Then I have my happy, like these things make me happy. That's what this, this insert is all about. Things that make me happy. So it's like a happy journal or a joy journal. So in here I have some collage, like dresses make me happy. And I write about the specific, my favorite dress of all time is on Amazon. It is called the 12 Ami. So if you guys are highly sensitive, look up 12 A-M-I. It is the like most amazing dress for a highly sensitive person. So um, I have that on here. I have love notes surprises in the mail, gifts are my love language, and poetry, hats and comfy clothing. And then here I put altered pages because I kind of altered the page. Um, yeah, but nature, nature makes me happy. So in this journal, it's literally all things that make me happy. Elephants. So if I'm not happy, I can sit here with this journal I can start with gratitude. I can flip through my joy journal, my happy journal, and my mood, you can feel it. Your mood kind of elevates. And then this last one is, um, it's kind of a manifestation journal. So it is like prayers and incantations is what I have on here. Uh, so it's basically dreams that I would like to see happen or things that I would like to uh, manifest. And so, that's this journal. This is my manifest journal. So once again, you have my manifest journal that I'm in, my poetry insert. I like to keep this one separate because I like to carry this one around with me or move it around in my house. Originally I had it in here and I do have enough strands where I could put it in here, but I tend to just like to throw it in my purse and carry it around for when poetry strikes. Um, and then I usually, I'll grab it out of my purse and do some collage and then the poems will come later. Very much like my art journal. I usually start with the collage elements, but the words don't come right away. So, so yeah, you've got manifest journal, poetry journal, art journal, morning plan book, and then 
my morning mindset pages. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what journals you keep um, on the regular basis or not so regular. I would love to know. And I would love to know um, if any of these interest you in seeing a flip through for let me know. And I will be back to chat you guys up next week. Talk to you later. Bye.